Number 68. Based on their positions in the periodic table, predict which has the largest atomic radius. L-I-R-B-N-F-N-I. Okay, so this goes by you knowing your trends of the periodic table. In this case, they're talking about the atomic radius trend, or how big or how small an atom is. So here's the two trends. If you're going across a period, so from left to right, if you're going across a period, just know that your atomic radius will decrease. So meaning that you start with big rate uh, atoms, and then you work your way down to getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So if I go across a period from rubidium all the way to xenon, rubidium would be super large as compared to little itty bitty xenon. Now there is a group trend. If I go down the group, this means that my atomic radius will increase. So that means that I start small and I get bigger and bigger and bigger. So if I go down my halides, right? If I'm looking at fluorine, as I go down to iodine, iodine would be much bigger than little itty bitty fluorine. Now we just have to look at the elements that I have here and see which one would have the largest atomic radius. So let's circle them. Lithium's over here. Rubidium is over here. Um, nitrogen's over here. Fluorine is over here. And iodine is here. Okay. So we want to know the largest. So I know that as I go down my periodic table, my atomic radius will increase. So the larger radii should be below on the periodic table. So that basically gets rid of lithium because rubidium would be larger than lithium and iodine would be much larger than fluorine and nitrogen is not in the question, right? So now we just have to compare between rubidium and iodine. Well, then that takes care of this um, trend. As I go from left to right, atomic radius will decrease. So that means that the ones on the left side would be much larger than the ones on the right side. So which one would be larger out of rubidium and iodine? Rubidium would be much larger as opposed to just little itty bitty iodine. So rubidium would actually be the largest uh, atomic radius. So you could circle RB. RB would be the biggest one. All right. So just memorize that trend, guys. It will help you. And usually they do give these types of questions on quizzes and exams. So just memorize your atomic radius trends, both across a period and going down a group. And you should be golden for anything that comes your way. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. If it did, click a like. Just makes, you know, just makes me know that I'm doing my job right. I hope I'm explaining everything as simplest as possible. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if any classmates also can benefit from this channel, go right ahead. Be my guest. Give them this channel. So thank you so much in advance. Thank you for the support. I will see you guys all in the next question. Bye-bye.